Campus is a great event to come to every year. I would uh, really suggest it if you're into business, software development, uh, marketing. Uh, don't miss it. Every year I work in Miami. Alison Sakoski and I'm the lead organizer for social media. So it involves a lot of management. Uh, a lot of planning in regards to having to update the social calendar with the team. It was a lot of hands-on in the beginning. Um, to get ready for this day, we wanted to make sure to automate as much content as possible. And the team has been doing a great job on keeping up with all the content so far. I'm uh, Sebastian van der Lund. I uh, traveled all the way from Amsterdam to WordCamp Miami and I work for WordProof.io. The internet is an amazing place, but at the same time, it's kind of broken more than 80% of all the people in the world they are falling for fake news and I talked about how open source communities can fix the broken web with WordPress and blockchain combined. Hey listen WordCamp is coming together uh, making friends building relationships learning processes educating yourself uh, it's too much to do you know it's just amazing. I'm interested in getting into doing business with WordPress I love the platform I love what people in the community do together and it just happened to be right down my street so hey, what's up everybody my name is Brian Messenlaner it's kind of a long one right M-E-S-S-E-N-L-E-H-N-E-R um, I do a lot of WordPress stuff I'm a co-owner of a company called AppPressor where we, we have a framework that allows you to build iOS and Android mobile apps without actually having to know how to build iOS and Android mobile apps. You just use WordPress and your WordPress skills to build all these really cool apps. Then we also have a bunch of add-on plugins for AppPressor that integrate with other popular WordPress plugins like WooCommerce, like BuddyPress, like LearnDash, so that you can create you know, like an e-commerce based mobile app to sell your products. You can create online courses uh, available through a mobile app or build your own social community mobile app. Um, I also own a company called SchoolPressor where we, uh, we do a lot of open source solutions for public schools to save them a lot of time. A lot of schools, public schools have the same problem where they're paying all these individual uh, software vendors to do different things, specific, specific things like, you know, one software company ma manages the lunch the cafeteria, you know, what's for lunch? Another one does the handles the buses. Another one handles the grades. So uh, we're trying to rip all those vendors off, not rip them off, but right? we're trying to be like the undercutters, right? And come in there and, and, and offer open source solutions for a fraction of the price, right? To save these uh, public schools a lot of money so they can invest that money back into their kids. Um, yeah, man, I like to WordPress it up. That's my thing. I'm Michael Schofield, and I'm with Where By Us. I'm the director of engineering. I'm basically introducing service design as the as the smartest business strategic approach, as opposed to being product centric. So. Andres Lopez, you spoke about accessibility. Tell us a little bit about your talk. Okay, it's, I feel like it went great. I mean, we just came out of there. Um, I feel like I got people with the German surprise at the start. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how it came out and I hope people take a note or two about you know the problem of people and how to include them on the website. Hey, my name is Ryan Kinney. My role for WordCamp this year, 2020, is uh, I signed up for a bunch. Uh, organizer for the sponsors, uh, sponsorship and David Bissett. It, fantastic experience. Also, I signed up uh, to be the room MC for Business Track both days, morning and afternoon. Uh, so I am also filling in help anywhere I can. Hi, I'm Norma Miller. I'm the owner of uh, White Coat Captioning. We're a small niche captioning firm and we specialize in captioning captioning tech events. We do a lot of word camps um, and we love word camps. We love WAPU. We love the whole, <laughs> the whole, the whole culture of, around word camps. It's really lovely. We do a lot of, you know, other events that are very, very different. But what I love about word camps personally is that I, as a small business owner myself, always come away with something uh, that is actually relevant to my company. And and that's very satisfying to me. So my talk was Gutenberg Beyond the Block, uh, and it was just essentially not very code heavy, but more concept heavy, where I was showing people how don't just think about the block and what you're trying to drop on the page and what colors you're trying to change and interesting, you know, front end components. Think about what Gutenberg and React means. So I showed how to pull from like custom APIs to create an author's block uh, that allows you to render different author names, etc. How to pull from an image API to kind of override the WordPress media library and use an external media library uh, to bring stuff into Gutenberg. Uh, I talked about, you know, 
parsing through all of your posts to find all the block quotes and automatically send them to Twitter with a URL and a UTM parameter. And so cool, interesting stuff like that, but it's not about blocks, it's about uh, you know the React uh, um, and JavaScript tools that are now available in WordPress. I'm Chip Edwards and I'm with the company Create My Voice. My talk today was on voice technology and how that is going to be impacting um, brands as well as how do we make sure that our audience can get to our content um, and the voice app, what it takes to build voice apps to be able to connect our content up with our audience using all of these smart speakers and other voice devices like smart phones and, and it's cars, everything where this uh, um, where these voice technologies getting embedded. I'm Carlos Vasquez and I'm with Miami Marketer because I was able to buy the domain name, MiamiMarketer.com. Carlos, tell us about your talk today. All right, so uh, people always want to go ahead and find ways to attract more business. And they have a hard time trying to make that connection. So I went ahead and I revealed a lot of the stuff that I've learned throughout the years since 2003 so that way they can start applying it in a way where they don't feel like it's too complicated and it makes perfect sense. So the feedback I've received makes it, it makes me feel like it was easy to understand and easy to grasp. Hey, this is William Jack to my quest to teach. We're down here in Miami, Florida, working with the kids at Kids Camp, enjoying the um, the, the atmosphere, the, the bloggers, the entrepreneurs, the business owners. Um, Aida Carrera and I had a great Kids Camp today, working with about 15 to 20 kids, teaching them STEAM, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, integrating into businesses and blogging. So it's a great conference, WordCamp Miami, awesome. I was the person who got the volunteers together to take photography. I created a album for pictures to be uploaded. I made sure that there was a photographer assigned to each track and each session and each after party and uh, just reminded them to upload all their photos as they were taking and they did very, very well. They have uploaded over 300 pictures uh, over the three or four days since the pre-word camp meetup up until now. I start off by saying I'm thankful for you because we could put on a party, but if nobody shows up, it's a pretty lame party. So I want to thank you for giving your time, your effort, your energy. Some people are traveling from all over. I mean, I met a, a gentleman from Amsterdam who's here. So I want to say thank you to everybody who attended. I wish they were all here, but I want to say thank for all the participants and attendees. And so now I want you to receive your thanks. Hold on.